everyone welcome back to the channel so yeah sorry for the lack of videos and a bit of inconsistency because yeah i was pretty busy because i had some exams coming up and yeah it's a bit difficult to push up videos right now but this video will be a bit different and i'll be showing you the some tips on storage solutions for nerf blasters so let's carry on all right so first we'll start off with this this is called wire netting, if I'm not wrong. And I bought this at Daiso, some store, for $2 a piece, which is around from here all the way to here. So it's like quite okay size for $2. So yeah, it's pretty cheap. So yeah, it's a good way of storing your blasters. And the hooks are 2 for $2, so it's a $1 a piece. So yeah. Uh, it's a uh, easy way to go and get some of these and hang your blasters up. So over here is the same thing. Just it shows you that you can hang actually anything at all, basically. So yeah, moving on, we'll go with this. Right. So this is a back board. If you don't know what this means, it's like the uh, boards with holes inside, like you know those that you see in the stores. Yeah, these are called pack boards. P G B O A R D S. If you're if you're not sure about that, but basically what what it does is that it actually hangs your blasters and actually displays them pretty nicely up on yeah like this and at the back as well. Pretty much from here onwards, it's all pack board. This one's a metal one. The others are wood, if I'm not wrong. But yeah, there are pros about this that. Uh, you should go and consider about getting this because first you can actually clear all your blasters and actually hang them up pretty neatly all over the uh, uh, board itself and it actually look pretty cool and yeah it looks neat as well and the second thing is that you know when you keep your blasters in a box it actually tends to you know scratch and getting paint chips all over your blasters which is not very nice so yeah this thing actually helps prevent that from happening so Basically, that's all for the pack board, and now we'll go to this. So this is a rack that I got. It's pretty okay for the price, and yeah, if you have a large collection like me and you have lots of new box blasters, this would have, this would be a very good way to actually keep your uh, blasters because it's a very neat solution, and you can actually st stack up a few layers of blasters without damaging the boxes as well. And actually cleared up that space there and shifted it up all over here. So yeah, that's a very good way of, uh, an efficient way of keeping your new box blasters. Alright, over here the for the last solution is actually these. These are IKEA boxes and they are pretty reasonably priced and they are very very good for your storage and keeping your clips and magazines and darts. So yeah, they actually and hold lots of stuff as you can see I keep my darts here my magazines or clips or whatever I don't care what they're called and yeah this is six round max and other miscellaneous clips and these are all extra parts at the bottom over there and preferably you could get this type of boxes but probably the clear ones so that you know what you are storing inside the boxes so it'll be easier to take out whatever and find whatever you need easier and yeah, at the bottom is the modulus attachments and some of the modulus blasters inside. And yeah, that's basically it for this video. And I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it helped you. And yeah, see you all guys in the next video.